Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and I'm a makeup artist from New York. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. Today we are doing something actually new, kind of like my reaction videos, but we're doing a then versus now. This is inspired by Robert Welsh. Uh, he's a makeup artist here on YouTube. So basically I'm gonna be watching an old video of a YouTube makeup artist or that i guess what they're called youtube makeup guru <laughs> and then a now video of the youtube of the same makeup guru to see if you know what they used to say still stands if they still use the same products i don't know stuff like that you know and you know we're just mainly judging the makeup here see maybe they've changed maybe they've elevated everything i think jacqueline has been pretty the same obviously we did jacqueline because she's been in the game for a long time so i'll do this more on different makeup artists that have been on youtube for a while so that we could see videos from then obviously and see videos from now <laughs> and then someone will do it for me hopefully in the future <laughs> But right before we get into that, make sure you guys leave a comment down below what you think about this video and make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button for that YouTube algorithm and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to my channel already and make sure you hit that post notification icon so you are notified every single time I drop a brand new video just like this one. But yeah, let's get right into it. <laughs> So the first video we're going to be watching from is Jaclyn Mountain, I mean Jaclyn Hill, is Everyday Drugstore Makeup Tutorial, and this is from six years ago. I was 12 six years ago. No, I'm joking. That's not true. <laughs> don't believe that. But I'm just going to have a one AirPod in so that like I can hear the audio so you guys don't hear what I hear. But yeah, let's get right into it. Okay come through with just putting shimmer all over your eye and calling it a look her smile is beautiful though her highlight looks really nice too but her nose bridge looks patchy there's something going on there bridge of the nose <laughs> why is the music so loud <laughs> i feel like i'm at a rock concert Today I'm going Hello. to be doing a drugstore makeup tutorial. This has been highly requested though, right? for quite some time, and so I wanted hair. to do a tutorial okay. that really everybody okay. can wear. This is definitely an okay. everyday look, daytime appropriate. Okay. You can wear this to lunch, you can wear this to work, you can wear this okay. running errands, and it's very to easy to take like to the next <laughs> level for a nighttime look. You can just put on some liner, smoke it out, and you're good to go. This is not gonna single out any skin tone or any eye color. Everybody can wear this no matter how pale, no matter how dark, you're all good with this look. So Say, other less. than two products, which are just like my Holy Grail Ow. products, they don't count. This is all drugstore. So okay. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. But she's she's gonna hey talk guys. to us right now. But this so is her video. So first thing I'm gonna be doing is priming my face, and I'm using the L'Oreal Magic that? Gumi Face Primer. I am doing this I've never specifically heard of that before. because I am dry and I want that extra okay. glow. But then what I'm if I'm not dry? I thought you said this will work for everybody. I don't even know what that foundation is that either. Even more. But if you are oily, I would suggest going in with hey, the original L'Oreal like True four Match years ago. because not it's not much more of a matte, I know the True Match. Finish. True Match is old. You can look a little bit like a greased chicken. She's still using her brushes. I don't know if you brush six years ago. I believe so. She fucking but for me, it's amazing <laughs> because I am dry. So I'm using an F80 Kabuki yeah. brush by Sigma as always, and I'm just going to press oh, this into my skin. Don't add me. I thought it was a Morphe blender. Blender. I suggest she didn't own Morphe, first, not yet. Then you can rub, but always press it first. It'll yes. help your pores accept the foundation. Don't rub. Last just and it's not pressed. These are my two favorite concealers. They are the both by Maybelline. One is the Fit Me Rewind is still one of the best concealers, and the Fit Me is still one of the best concealers as well too. And the reason is because she was ahead of her time using the concealers to prime. Matte wow. Mars. <laughs> where the Maybelline Fit Me is a little bit more dewy. They both last the same amount of time on me. They both have the same power as far as creasing on me. But this one is just a little bit more matte and powdery. So I am okay. going in with the second to lightest shade. I don't That's know the name so of it. That's so much fucking concealer. Point, Blending it out <laughs> she with is hiding F all her problems. <laughs> and that. making sure that I go over the lid as always because Holy that will fuck. help prime for my Me shadow. Too. Because I haven't found an eyeshadow primer that I love from the drugstore. Oh God. To even oh out God. the highlight, oh I'm going to dab no, this no, on no, my no, chin, no. corner no. of my lips, and then no. I will also do it right in the center of my forehead. This will just make no. everything look much more even. Not the overdone concealing and highlighting and overwhelming six years sometimes, ago. Sometimes, especially if you use a flash, that under highlight can look way too overwhelming if you don't even it out across the face. Then I'm Her going to go in with a non-drugstore item, picky. which is my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Damn. Ash Blonde and six years Caramel, ago. I believe. Still I will link it. my brow tutorial down below <laughs> if you want to see <laughs> in depth, but I'm just going to cut it off looking like a man. Oh, rawr. 
Damn, that okay, shit was Okay, and then wacky. the second non-drugstore product is my Mac Good Pro. Good thing she's updated it. No, <laughs> I love you, Jacqueline. Which sets this whole area so that nothing creases on me again. I cannot find a product from a drugstore to do this job. If you guys have one that you absolutely love, You guys love, know how I feel about putting powder under the eyes, especially if you have dry skin. I'm totally open to that. I'm just setting everything and patting. I'm not using too okay. much powder, just a sheer amount. And then when I look in okay. the camera, I was like, whoa, that looks intense. In person, it did not look that bright. These then I'm going to go though, in with so Maybelline old. Chai so Latte. <laughs> this is a set of four shadows, and I'm going in with that medium brown. It's difficult like if you showed me that eyeshadow palette and you were like, hey, what do you think about this? I'd be like, to really help blind the drugstore. That shit looks ugly. But this one is really nice. But this and is it's what really they wanted. This is what was brown. giving them their life. It's not too warm or too cool. So using a Sigma E40 brush, I am just going to blend this on the crease. Then I'm going to go in with L'Oreal Amber Brush. Look That's at how, how you pretty make that is. Look, on my look good. Shimmer, I'm going don't have me. With it's my true. I'm finger all over my lid. Because I find that this shadow Look, just works do much a better natural when you apply it with your finger as opposed to a smoky brush, which, boom, and extra I bet money you everybody right will be like, oh, nice, so nice, nice. So I'm going to pat this all over the and everybody will be like, make a corner, artist, holy just shit. push it all the way up into that crease. It's such a beautiful metallic nice shadow though, though. that you really don't have to do much work. Just rub it all over your skin and it's going to look pretty. That's what I expect. Then I'm just going in and blending that out and using just a little bit more of that brown color from the chai latte. Then I'm going in with that light white frosty shade. The way she could have not gotten broad. the lines for her foundation was if she did brow. her eyes and first then and then did her foundation. And then I'm going to go in with brown color at the very bottom. when you're doing bottom, your eyes and you already put your foundation, you're doing this a lot. And you're just creasing all your foundation that you just did. That's why I personally do it after. And also you can mess up and not have to worry about it. L'Oreal Amber Rush again. I love this look though. It looks really nice. Brush and blend Stands up still now. I could follow this, do it, and I still look fucking flawless. Typically, don't do shimmer on the lower lash line, but this looks really pretty, especially since it's the same shimmer. That's don't on do the shimmer lid. on the lower lash line. Very complimentary. <laughs> then I'm going to curl my lashes. The Revlon Cur Revlon curler from the drugstore has always Me been a good a video. one. <laughs> and then I'm just going in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. This is the original. I have gone back and forth between this one and the Carbon Black, but I have to be honest, the Carbon Black. L'Oreal mascara is a little too chunky for me. Looks this really one nice though. Helps Not gonna separate lie. my lashes while lengthening. I wonder if the mascara is still stands so up today, but that it. looks really, really Going nice. Going with a lot of mascara because I want my lashes She's to stand been out. She's always been a mascara queen. We're not queen. doing falsies or liner. Then we're oh, going yeah. in with the NYC Sunny Bronzer, and I'm using a new that brush used to be for today. Bum, bum, bum. Everyone used to but have that product. Literally so nobody even has that shit anymore. But I used to remember when everyone used to pull that out. Switch it up. I've been using the NARS Eda brush for so long. Let's try something else. And so far, I've been loving this brush. Then we're going in what with Hard Candy that? Tiki Highlighter. And I am just going to use a Sigma Tiki. Tapered Highlighting Brush and put this all over the cheekbone area. I've never heard of I'm that before. I'm doing this before <laughs> blush because it'll help to look like, more like you're glowing from within. It's just yes, a little trick to true. do first. And I'm taking it and putting it underneath my brow a little bit more because that first highlight just wasn't <laughs> enough for me. And I wanted That's to put a little bit more shimmer. And then I will also just highlight. dot under that baby highlight. on the inner corner of my eyes to open the oh, eye up damn, more. I had a hard time. Then I'm going to go in with the NYX Coral Dream Blush. This is a matte so shade. So that tiki that we put on underneath that highlight will really shine through this matte blush. And I'm using a Makeup Geek brush to apply this. This brush is great for blush. Oh my wow, God, that's we just talked about Makeup I'm Geek. <laughs> and I'm going in with Mabel. Oh, what the fuck? I just got an ad. <laughs> Blushing okay, Beige. This is from that nude line. And then I'm going to top it off with NYX. Butter gloss and creme brulee, and you are all finished. Stitchy. I hope Looks you like enjoy. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Why is there still six minutes in the video left if she just said she's done? <laughs> not your typical well, I'm not watching the edges. Alright, so that's it for the first video. Alright, so honestly. I liked it, like, it, it's a little outdated, like, half the products, I don't even know what the hell they are. But, like, if I, I think if I followed it, and I did it, it would still look pretty good today, you know? Everyone would be like, your makeup looks great, blah, blah, blah. So, I liked it. Jacqueline's always been a queen at doing everything pretty good. Alright, so, now that we've reacted to the old Jacqueline Hill, we're gonna react to the new Jacqueline Hill. So, I'm watching Back to School Drugstore Makeup Tutorial. So, you know, they're comparable, the six-year-old one and now the current one. So, let's watch this and see how Miss Mountain has changed. 
Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know what my hands are doing. They're like, <laughs> hey guys, <Okay. laughs> it's so awkward. I have to say first and foremost, I'm sorry about my hair. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um, yeah, I kind of just blacked out and then ended up with pigtails. So <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now. I just kind of thought like, oh, it's back to school. You know, like, let me be like a school girl. Like, let me put on pigtails. And then all of a sudden, like, I started showing too much cleavage and it just got kind of weird and I was like, what's going on? I blacked out, I'm back, I have pigtails, it is what it is. For today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a back to school makeup look that is all drugstore products. And yes, every single product in this video is from the drugstore. It is not affordable. It is drugstore because Ooh. I have learned <laughs> with my subscribers that there's a very big difference. And I've had a hard time being like, but wait, they're affordable. Why don't they why don't they like love this? Like why just drugstore? Like, why not affordable? And then I realized cheap, that a lot of you guys want to be but able to walk CVS. into your local Target, <laughs> Ulta, CVS, <laughs> Walgreens, Rite Aid, whatever it is. Rite Aid? Yeah. Anyways, and just pick up these products and use them for yourself. I know that a lot of affordable brands are online only or they only have select locations and you guys yeah. just want it to be easier. So I totally get it. I saw the comments like in my last video and so many of you guys were saying that like you love the fact that I was trying online. to be budget friendly but you also wanted to be just drugstore. So I thought this was the perfect video because I really wanted to gear this video towards my younger audience, if you will, like high schoolers and college because you guys are obviously the ones going back to school. I don't wanna say obvious because that's not fair because there's so many people in their 30s and 40s and 50s going back to school which is awesome but I wanted to gear this towards those young boys and girls who want to feel glam before going to school but also don't want to set their alarm an hour and a half early an hour and 45 minutes early just to beat their face so I wanted to do something really inexpensive and really realistic something that I personally do now as you know a 29 year old woman and when I have to go to a meeting and I'm just like oh god I have an early meeting this is the look that I do so I want to share it with you guys because it's easy and honestly when I'm in my zone and I'm just like doing my thing I can do this look in 15 minutes 15 easy and out the door of course it's gonna seem longer on camera because I'm gonna be pausing and talking and explaining and all that but it is so easy I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks of things that I do to make it look like you have bronzer, contour, all that jazz. Without Just doing it. <laughs> all different things on the face. Show us now. Guys, get out the door fast as possible and get to school. Okay. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this video and congratulations okay. to everybody who is still in school doing your thing, hustling and grinding. It's awesome. I personally didn't even graduate out. high school. I got my GED, which technically I, I graduated, but I don't have a high school diploma which is something that I used to be really sensitive about. I'm better about Doesn't it now. It doesn't bother me as much. Look at you. But I look got at my, you. my um, GED when you I was don't know 15, how to speak English, but look at you. <laughs> about to turn 16 years old. And then I graduated and then worked at Planet Beach, which is a tanning salon. And then I went off to an art college. And I loved my art school. I just wasn't built for school. Like, I would cry. I couldn't stand math. Like, social okay, studies. I mean, everything. Like, oh my gosh, what? geometry. No, <laughs> I cannot handle geometry. So God that. bless all of you who just love school and love to learn and do your thing. It's awesome. Not my journey. My boyfriend loves school. He can't get enough of it. He's like, I wish I could go to school forever. I'm like, okay. I'm going to stop know. rambling. I'm sorry. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see how to get this quick, I'm easy drugstore back to school makeup like look, five years. then just keep you watching. You guys left? All right. We made it to the intro, boys. <laughs> Okay. Hi. I feel Hello. so stupid with these pigtails in right now. I can't Take even tell you. I wore pigtails for my birthday party a few weeks ago for the first time, she but it was like told better because I actually like tried and like, made them like really curly and full of volume. Herself. And today I'm just like, this is just sad, but it is what it is. So for today's video, since this is a back to school makeup look, it sounds kind of silly, but I want to be realistic <laughs> about the steps that we take in the makeup look I that we do in the mornings. Sometimes I prime my face, Am sometimes I, I don't, because I do use a very tacky moisturizer in the morning, okay. and I go right from cleansing my skin, moisturizing straight to my vanity to start putting on makeup, so my skin still has that tackiness, so I don't feel the need to prime, you know what I'm saying? If you want to do something easy and use like the Milani Make It Last, this is also known as a primer, you could just quickly give your face a little spritz, just a little, ooh, hello, okay. type moment, and then go in with the, the product. <laughs> 
But again, I just, I don't find it totally necessary to prime when I just put on my moisturizer. Total personal preference. Makes sense. So the first step that I'm going to do one. is different than how I normally do my makeup, but that's because okay. we're gonna be quick and we're gonna get the HE Double Hockey Sticks out the door. I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. It's a full coverage concealer. It's actually very, very good. It's not my number one favorite like affordable concealer, but when it comes to the yeah, drugstore, this is, is really good. I, I'm that's thinking about really concealer. Nice one. Yeah, this is gonna be my number one concealer from the drugstore. I got mine at Ulta. Number one from I also saw these at Target as well. That. So I'm the gonna take that, Elf Camel put it under my eye, really, just a little really bit at a time because we price, can always build, okay? It's hard to beat. Hit it there. Down the and center of the nose, the I do have a few too. blemishes Blush. right around there. Right now we're just kind of like spot correcting. I've had this like pimple that sits right here on, on like the, the butt lips. of my chin Don't for like a lips. month at this point. And it's, it's like leaving oh, no, a little scar. I'm like, chin. that's exciting. Oh, no. I always oh, no, do oh, no. the oh, no. upper oh, no. lip and around the mouth <laughs> because it. it's definitely hormonal, but women can definitely have hyperpigmentation in that area and it looks darker. Sometimes. It can even look like it's a mustache, it's it can look like it's hair, and it's not. It's just pigmentation, but it's very common. So at this point, you can go Personally, in with a brush, you can go in with a beauty a sponge, lot, it doesn't really matter, it's personal right. preference. Sometimes brushes can be faster, some people think. Yes. It doesn't matter. I'll just use this and go in and just start blending <laughs> that concealer use this brush. out. And I am working quickly because this is how I would do my makeup if I was in a rush and trying to get out the door. I always have redness on the outer corner of my eyes. Like, it doesn't matter what time of day it is. I she always have a little a redness about, right here, so I know, always make sure to hit that area just to like make that. me look but a little bit more fresh. she spread out all that concealer that she just concentrated. I feel like I mean, it's Captain whatever. Hook but around the nose. You use concealer for something like a lot of women are hormonal around the nose. I say a lot of women are hormonal around the nose. I meant red around the nose. It's very common to have redness around your nose. I didn't have it until I was in my 20s. I didn't have it when I was young. But I mean, 20s like if you have a pimple young. or something. But all of a sudden it kicked in. I remember Kenny Johnson talking about her having to cover up the redness around her nose. And I was like, what redness? And then in my 20s it popped up for me. Now I always have to conceal that redness right there. So honestly, you guys, on days where I'm just like panicked and I I literally have like a minute and a half just to throw something on my face. That's okay. what I'll do right there. I'll throw in some concealer, blend it out. I will just curl my lashes, clear brow gel, and that's it. What like thing? if I just feel like, whoa, I look terrible. I need a little something. That's like my 60 second out the door. But since we have more than 60 seconds, this is more like, honestly, this is more of like a 10 minute, possibly 15. Depends like how far I want to take it, but possibly 15, but realistically, I feel like I can before. do this look in 10 minutes. So hurry minutes. up, Jacqueline. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take that same concealer. Oh my God, what the fuck right is she doing? On my forehead, on the out a little bit. This concealer is great because it just definitely put, does have coverage. Just, it it's not foundation. super just full coverage, it. so if you want like a ton of coverage, you would have to build it, which is <sighs> nice because it is a buildable concealer, so that wouldn't be an issue. So I personally am gonna go in with another layer just on the under eye cheek area. Wait, wait, wait oh, that's a darker color. Uh-oh, whatever. I'll just mix it. I was using C10 just now. That's too dark for me. C8 is the best color as far as like highlighting Here's what I'm properties. saying. Like, so I'm just gonna go ahead and build a little bit more. Put it, and she like blends it out when you wanna I want concentrate just it. A little bit more coverage on that pieces. area. And this time I'm gonna use a beauty sponge because I do feel like when I use brushes on my under eyes, I don't get as much coverage. And I also feel like I pull at my under eye skin, which is just not good. Obviously you wanna be extremely careful with your under eyes. <laughs> and I tend to like, like drag, <laughs> especially when I'm rushing. So using this and pouncing it in, I feel like it's just so much better for your actual skin, wrinkles, and aging. I'm gonna eye. use one shade darker, which is C10. And I'm just gonna hit that right here. It's not too much darker, but just a little bit. So as you guys can see, I am using concealer basically all over my face, but I'm doing it more generous in other areas and more sparing in others. Like concealer my cheeks and my nose and the T-zone is, is definitely where Concealers I put the most. And then like down here in this area, I allow like my natural skin to shine through. Like you can see I have some freckles down here and some like little itty bitty sunspots, which I'm not happy about. But I'm gonna let those shine through because this is more of a natural, day-to-day -day easy look and I don't want to have like yes. a full beat on my face and I have always noticed <laughs> that when like you can <laughs> see things like 
some of the veins in your eyelids and like pigmentation and like little bitty freckles through the foundation, it doesn't look like you're wearing that much makeup because you obviously aren't. But it's kind of like a way to fool people, if you will, like putting a lot of coverage on the under eye and cheek so it looks really like, oh, and like you look very alive and bright. But then the rest of the face, you can see some imperfections. It doesn't look like, oh, she's wearing a full mask. It just looks like, oh wow, she looks, good you know so that's what we're going for okay so now i'm going to go well, in with the l'oreal true match foundation i used to love this foundation so that's much so if you guys <laughs> have been riding with me for Damn, years she's and years still and years and you were like officially a part of the jack pack <laughs> i'm not but <laughs> i think that's the cutest name ever someone came up with that on twitter it used to be hillsters and then someone okay. came up with jack pack and i just think that's the cutest name ever but anyways i used to love this foundation when i would do more drugstore tutorials than i have as yeah. of recent no it's way. a really good one and <laughs> i also love the l'oreal true match lumi which i actually don't like anymore but this one is still really good what so happened? the reason that this shade it's is so much darker than my skin tone is because i'm going to be using it to bronze this is in the shade classic tan n7 i'm just going to take it right like that put it on my finger and literally just dot it right here on my cheeks i know it's <laughs> such a random thing to do but it's so fast and it's so easy and I've never been able to find a cream contour from the drugstore that I actually enjoy and this foundation blends out like such a dream so I just use this instead and any little synthetic brush like this will do this is from it cosmetics I got it at well actually no they sent it to me yeah they sent this to me but you can buy this at Ulta and I just blend this foundation out like that just to give some warmth to the skin it's so easy and especially because i don't want to take the time to do like the whole powder bronze make sure i powder my face like i want this to look more natural so using a liquid is definitely a great way to go when you're in a rush and you want it to look very natural and just like it's your skin all right we're gonna get up in this hairline yeah, typically yeah. if i, I was super fair i might not necessarily I bronze this much but because i am tanner right now than just my so fair skin tone i'm gonna bronze it because it's gonna start to match but... my neck Neck hey. and my chest and a lot of Same. times when I'm working with creams like this and I blend them out and I'm using a brush sometimes if you look closely you can kind of see like brush stipples on the skin from the actual bristles so I'll just take the sponge and go like this it's not gonna remove any product whatsoever it'll just help it look natural get rid of any streaks from the brush any marks and just make everything come together okay so now that we have our creams on I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite drugstore products. I should do a favorite drugstore products video again soon because I've been trying so many like the past month so and a half maybe. And I have help. really fallen in love with quite a few things and this is one of them. <laughs> it is the, again, Makeup Revolution, just like the concealer, same brand. We don't know it's her. the Pro HD Powder Contour Palette. I love this formula for a drugstore formula, especially. It's really, really great. And I love these shades for the you under really eye. So I'm gonna use bronze. this light one and this yellow one. I also use this in my most recent video as well, the affordable. Please contour before I go to look on a budget, you guys get it. But I really, really like this. It's a really great formula. So I'm just gonna go ahead, dip my brush into both of these shades back and forth, tap off the excess, and then I'm just gonna hit my under eye with that. So I'm just oh, gonna no. take that and tap oh, no. on the under eye. This powder has like such a soft little glow to it. Like it's not pearly necessary. It just looks nice. It's not like super dry. I'm gonna take those same powders. I'm gonna touch my chin with it. I'm gonna touch my upper lip. I'm gonna touch my nose. Just a little bit on the side. And then not right a here, big center fan of, how of that looks. the forehead. I think I'm it also going to take the naturally. Maybelline yeah, Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder right here. Skin. This is in the shade Light like Medium. It looks like this. Just a tiny bit on texturized. my beauty sponge. And I'm going to just go over only my forehead with this. I have not gotten Botox in quite a while. And so <laughs> things will general, set, like, not mm. things, but my products <laughs> will set into the wrinklies that I have up there. So I just lightly tap that so that it stays smooth throughout the day. I'm gonna grab that yellow shade and then I'm just going to take that and oh, go oh my God. almost like a fake bake. Like That's just hit it right here <laughs> just to help out the sculpting of the face. 
For blush, I'm gonna try something new. This is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette right here. I thought That's that the colors were really nice pretty. Palette. I picked this up at Target. So I'm gonna beautiful. mix this shade and this shade from the far corners. I, and I have no idea how these will perform, but hopefully they're bomb. They're very pigmented. Oh my God, okay, great. There's pigment there. Told you. <laughs> Hello, how are you? All right, let's just get it popping. <gasps> I was not expecting that to have that sort she's of pigment. Like, it just like stuck to my skin. Products. Well, it's and a good thing like, that I love blush because, oh my god! It doesn't sound like you're using it. <laughs> okay, so typically, this I told is not you it's what pigmented. happened while I'm doing my makeup. But since I was not expecting that, and I just assumed like, oh, it's just gonna be like a okay, medium pigment. I was wrong. Let me go in and try to fix this. I'm gonna go back with the Makeup Revolution Bailing. and just try to. <laughs> Yep. Tone this down a pinch. There you go. Although blush you fades on me pretty quickly, powder, so I'm not too worried blush. about it. But that's called still, the veiling. Let me hit my nose with a little something, something because it's like I just went skiing. I'm a girl. <laughs> okay, I'm like genuinely I'm gonna see that scarred in my by nice. how aggressive that blush application was. I really did something there. Okay, great, whatever. Look like a schoolgirl. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade Molten Rose Gold. I'm gonna put this okay, only on my Okay, those highlighters are really, really, really nice. Apples. I love NYX. Hello. I freaking love NYX. That's honestly. bright. I don't have as only much of this stuff as I should because I would literally buy everything, cheeks. but I freaking love finger, NYX. Because sometimes you just gotta use God's given brushes. Your fingertips. Right there, just emphasize those chubby little cheeks of mine. Hello. You know what? I love my chubby cheeks. Even though everyone thinks they're filler. I don't know why anyone would filler to make their entire face bigger, but that's fine. Then I'm gonna grab the Wet n Wild Precious Petals <laughs> highlight. I actually really wanted to use this highlights? golden flower crown because it's new and I haven't used this color, but I can't get it open. You know what? I just need to find a way. I need to get it open. I really wanna try this color. <laughs> Am I the stupidest person ever? I literally Me can't get that in there. <laughs> oh, hell. Hell no. An hour and a half later, we I have it open. So I'm going time. to take this and put it on my upper cheekbone, just lightly, just to see. Oh, it's a pretty color. Yeah, that's really, it's really very nice golden, well. and I Holy love a golden shit. highlight. I feel like I have too much highlight that's on right now. Pigmented. Said no one ever. Oh, I was going to say, I actually can't do too, like much I have too much highlight on. Oh, no. God. Stop, put the brush down. Me. So for brows, <laughs> I have been using pomade recently. I love the Anastasia one, but for drugstore, I have two different ones and they are very different. The first one is the NYX one right here that is called Take and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. Period. And then the other one is by Arcs and Halos, which I've never actually heard of. And it says I've Luxury never... Brow Building Pomade. I thought she pomade. said this is her favorite so drugstore product. The difference product. is, she never NYX heard is of them definitely before. less pigmented. This is much more pigmented. If you are a beginner working with pomades, I would go with NYX if you're looking for one because it's more difficult to screw up. Where this one definitely has more pigment, but it's much more like the Anastasia Brow Pomade. I will say that. I'm gonna kind of go back and forth personally. I'm gonna use both. I'll use the NYX on the inner corner and then I will use the Arcs and Halos on the outer tail. You guys know I hate doing my brows so much. It's the worst part. Why is it a thing? Why did brows become a trend? <laughs> I love the end result so much, but I hate the process. So I'm gonna start off with the NYX. Popping in there. Uh, I have she's this doing bald right spot so right here well, on my eyebrow, and I've been thinking about for like the past right six is, months but that's how getting it microbladed, but like I literally only would want, want that spot under, microbladed. Because if like, you start anywhere like else, like in the front, you're adding too much pigment already, and the most pigment is at the end of the tail. I haven't asked anybody, but I'm kind of into that idea because it drives me crazy. Like this brow doesn't have bald spots. Like when I push that bad boy up with some brow gel, it's good to go. This one. You're getting black brows. Go like back 25 minutes to her six year video and you're gonna get her black sister. brows. Also, I didn't mention this. I'm gonna keep my brows on Hopefully the lighter Hopefully we're watching side. to see if she has gotten you know, rid I of the black that. brow. Which I know <laughs> she has, They she end up so reason. intense, it's like two caterpillars on my face. You guys don't know. <laughs> but I wanna keep them on the lighter side today because of the fact that my makeup is minimal. So I do not want a super heavy brow because then when you look at me, that's all you're gonna see. 2006 okay, Jacqueline's like, making espresso. <laughs> It's 5.30 and someone's making espresso? Okay, no, so I'm apparently not. that's my version of a natural <laughs> brow. <laughs> Honestly, I need to the reshape these bad boys because they are dark looking. And the top is squiggly, Ooh. but 
rough. Good execution. We'll take care of it. A little too I'm much like right here. I'm going to grab this matte for matte summer breeze okay. palette. Okay. They're all matte sure shadows, all different tones of neutrals. We've I'm got purple in there. So I'm just going to grab a third one before. in right there. And this is the only shadow that I'm going to use on my eyes today just because that's how I do it when I'm in a rush and just trying to get somewhere. I just take one matte brown eyeshadow. Sometimes I'll even do a cream with a cream bronzer. Yeah, I'll just throw just it in there take really your quickly and put it with on your like eyelid. a brush like this. I don't know about cream bronzer we'll because I don't just, know like, how the formula will act on your eyelids because eyelids are very different. a little definition on the eye. But just use a regular we'll bronzer on your eyelids. give you a little bit eyelids. more It'll life and bring a little bit more attention exactly to the eyes. Saying. And who doesn't want to bring attention to their eyes? I'm going to go no back way. in with that same Wet n Wild highlight and just hit my inner corners real quick course, as like always. This is like a necessary step for me no matter what. He's been doing it for it six doesn't years, need to be like no a beaming thing. highlight, but it needs it's to pretty, be something. Even if it's even matte, I need product, something in my inner corners just to make my eyes look a little bit more fresh. Same. Now I'm going to curl later. my eyelashes, which is such an important step for me. The lashes, I everything. personally pulsate when I do this Pulsate for maybe favorite word. five I'm pulsating. to seven seconds. <laughs> You can see the difference that it gives in my lashes and why it is such a necessary step. I also curl them again once my yeah. lashes People are dry. Lashes if I'm in a rush, anxiety. I'll put on my mascara. I will throw my lash curler especially. into my purse. And then once I'm in the car, I'll just pull it Ooh, out and do it, you know, 15, 20 minutes later at a stoplight or something Christ. like that. But Wish I, had white people I know that it's always been a thing, like, don't ever curl your lashes when you have mascara on. And we hear the horror stories of losing lashes and them falling out. I've never had that experience ever, 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 ever. I feel like now that I'm saying this, I'm going to have that experience, but I've never had that happen to me. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This is my favorite drugstore mascara. My favorite mm. drugstore mascara. Sorry, I'm getting kind of tired. Um, <laughs> this is a great dupe for the Better Than Sex Mascara. Personally, I like it better, which I know that Better Than Sex is like one of the top selling mascaras ever. Whoops. But... It gets really clumpy, like super clumpy on me. Imagine having the not. best When I was a teenager, like, I would crazy. spend so like, much time on my mascara. Like, like I had most art to it. And now that I wear like, lashes, like fake lashes all the time, crazy. I like just slap on my mascara and move along. But I'm telling you, it used to take me like five to 10 minutes. I would sit there and do like three different mascaras and build and I had a reason why. Then I'd sit there with like a little pick and like pick between each lash. And my lashes looked so beautiful and now I'm just like Bruh! and I move on with my life. All right, so I bought this L'Oreal telescopic mascara because um, it looked like the skinniest one that I could find at the drugstore and I was trying to replicate my MAC Cosmetics Giga Black because I just really love like a really, really skinny mascara for the bottom lashes. But you guys, oh, look I at see this. What she's it saying. will not, it oh, will not go back into the tube. Like, I even had Sarah come up here and try to get it, and it will not go in. What the like, fuck? This has to be defective. There's no way that this is like, they're actually selling it like this. Like, <laughs> what is this video? <laughs> I'm so sad. I was so excited for this wand. In the trash we go. All right. I don't know you know what? On. Before I even put on <laughs> bottom mascara, oh. I am going to spray my face. I have not used this yet. It is the Pixi Rose Glow Mist. It says with seven flower oils. So I'm excited to try this right here. Oh, I tried cute. their, like, another glow mist. And honestly, you guys, it smelled so bad that I couldn't use it just because of the smell. It was just, like, rancid. And I bought two of them and they both smelled the same. But this one says rose, so I'm sure it'll be better. I mean, it really does smell like roses. I don't have my fan in here. What am I going to do? Okay, so now that my top lashes She's are dry and it's been, a few a few it's been a few minutes, I'm going to go in with my lash curler one more time. Get nice and tight in there. <laughs> and curl them one more time. Just a few little pulses. Slowly remove it. Oh my god, she's And then you can anxiety. see how much that curls them. And then they last a lot longer. For me, when I do it after well, mascara, yeah, I imagine, it's what keeps the formula, curl lasts for yeah, a long the time. Mascara formula so I really have never found a drugstore lip liner that I actually like. I have found very affordable what? liners Next. that I like, but not drugstore. And because it's a drugstore video, I'm just going to not use a lip liner today. 
which is so hard for me because I feel like my lips are gonna look shaking. so lame because I got so used to it. But instead, I'm going to go in with, ooh, I'm gonna go in with Nude Lust by Maybelline right here. Is that the same lipstick she used six years ago? Oh my and God, I think it is. And it's making me, wow, she has not a little crazy, a little crazy. I feel so weird. Same. Like so weird not having lip liner on. It's like, ah. I'm like dying to grab one of my liners right now and put them on. No. All right, she's really dragging it. <laughs> wow. You guys didn't even see that. It never happened. That's it, you guys. I hope that you enjoy this video, this back to school makeup look. I swear the entire video I've had this in my head, even today when I was getting ready to it. film. I don't care what she has to say anymore. Okay, so. <laughs> that is it. Okay, in my opinion, I said it. She has, <laughs> she used the same products. The True Match Foundation, the same damn concealer, the same damn lipstick. <laughs> Nothing has changed. No, but I think that was honestly pretty fun. If I didn't have the whole problem with Jacqueline talking way too fucking much, hopefully the next YouTuber we do this, they have actually like quick clan videos. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is going to be the new series on the channel, then versus now. Make sure you guys check out Think of the Podcast, my podcast. There's a brand new episode every single week. The link will be in the description down below. It is available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Breaker, Anchor, and everywhere else. Podcasts are streaming. And also make sure you guys check out Think of the Merch. We are launching in about two weeks now. If you guys sign up with the link down below, you will get 20% off on your first order. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.